Team, welcome to day three of Raising Havana. So today was a big day for her. Earlier this morning, we took her to the vets to have her second jabs. Uh, Havana can be a little bit nervy and a little bit unsure of new things, but actually she absolutely nailed it. Zero issues, we were in and out within five minutes. I didn't take any footage purely because, you know, COVID and things like that, so I didn't wanna kind of interrupt any of the processes, but she did really, really well. So for the rest of today, she's just gonna spend time doing some enrichment training, spend some time hanging out and chewing things, doing general puppy stuff, we're not gonna push her anymore. However, I did do some actually really, really nice training with her, which I want to talk to you about. So we did some uh, reward specific marker stuff. So teaching her that chase means go and catch or chase treats. We also did some training on scatter, which means food is going to be scattered. And this is just a way that I'm going to be teaching her uh, to understand that she's going to get rewarded in different ways depending on the activity that we're doing. So when we build up to doing recalls outside, I'm going to be able to say, come, she'll come back to me, I'll say chase and I'll be able to throw a treat and that's going to make that recall really rapid fire. But I'll talk more about that in a future episode as she grows a little bit older. We also covered uh, a little bit of recall cue stuff. So I've started teaching her that the word come means good things. You'll notice that um, she's not necessarily coming straight to me for all of them which is absolutely fine but then sometimes I do actually add in that recall cue of come and she, she heads over straight away so we are building a nice positive association with me and that word there so that's really really good the main thing I want to talk to you about today there was a concept called food disengagement disengagements are the backbone of dog training very similar to how engagement is right so engagement is when the dog pays attention to you or engages with something disengagement is when they switch their focus to something so you have to disengage from something to engage with something else a key issue that i see lots of puppy owners have is their dog is unable to focus around food right they go absolutely mental and there's no way that we can teach them to work around it this is something i want to get started very early with havana so that it doesn't become an issue how we've worked on that is that we've taught her that you know if there's a a pot of food down on the floor, you're not going to take it, you're not going to eat it, you're going to disengage from it and you're going to come to me for a reward. Uh, we also practice, you've probably seen the video, a little recall cue as well, so I'm actually able to recall her back past that food and for a 10 week old puppy to do that is really, really impressive at her age and it's not going to take us long to really, really build that value. You'll also probably notice that I don't have food in my hands when I'm working with her all the time. The reason for this is I don't want food in my hand to be a cue to do the behaviour. I want her to be able to offer me behaviour or me to ask her for a behavior that she does and then a reward is presented so sometimes I'll have food in my hand if I want to reward her really quickly like if we're doing a pause up but a lot of the time I've actually just got food in my pocket uh, so that when she does do something I use her nice marker word pick it up and reward her so there we go really nice and sorted she had a really really good day so far I'm really really impressed with her and her training as I said today rest of the day just gonna hang out chill out not do a lot uh, and then tomorrow I think we'll make her training a little bit harder so thank you for watching episode three of Raising Havana. Please subscribe so you can keep up to date with Havana's daily adventures and follow me on Facebook at Jack Fenton Dash Dorset Dog Trainer to keep up with her there as well. Thank you all very much for watching team and I'll chat with you again soon. Bye.